Okay, so we're just gonna drive around our fictitious city here. It's meant just to be an urban environment. Um, we'll go and do just a big loop in the city. So we just came off of a bridge and then we'll head back to the bridge. Um, there'll be some autonomous traffic driving around us. Uh, as you see, kind of approaching on the other side here. Um, so we have to interact with those. We're interacting with stoplights. There's a bunch of different vehicle sensors on us right now. So we have like a radar, ultrasonic, LIDAR, GPS sensor. Um, the, those sort of things that are, that are interacting with our vehicle. And I see other vehicles on the road. Can you tell me about those? Right, yeah. So those autonomous vehicles are just being controlled um, by an algorithm that's following the road logic. So they'll, you know, follow stoplights, follow all traffic laws that we need to. Um, and then we can just drive our ego vehicle alongside their vehicle at the same time. Um, and then at any time we want to, that same uh, control algorithms that control those autonomous vehicles, we can have them control this vehicle. So we can give handoff of the platform to that autonomous platform. Um, can you and tell then, me about the city you're driving in right now? Yeah, so it's just a, a generic urban environment. Um, it's not meant to uh, be any representation of a specific city. Uh, it's uh, just a, a, a smaller terrain, just to give us this little bit of uh, urban, urban scene with the, the buildings and things. Um, but then we also have uh, a bridge and then there's a tunnel actually on the other side of the terrain too. What kind of things do you use the simulator for? Uh, so we're mostly focused on, for my work, uh, looking at advanced driver assistance systems, so those lower level autonomy systems um, that, I don't know what this car is doing. Those lower level autonomy systems that use those sensor models to control the vehicle um, interacting with the virtual world. So we're looking at things like handoff right now, um, how drivers interact with different systems, um, th those sorts of questions. So we're coming back up on the bridge here. And uh, I heard you guys use this thing to test out races. <laughs> right, yeah, we do test out some, uh, some races. Uh, we, have, we have a couple different tracks modeled, um, so we can just hop in our simulator and drive them with any vehicle model that we choose. Um, we can run lap time simulation. Uh, we can look at specific handling features um, and then assess the simulator at the same time as assessing our, our vehicle models. But we're really mostly focused on doing uh, assessing the vehicle models and, and bettering this tool at the same time. So that was a complete loop.